Did you know that if you visit just one island, which is Crescent Isle, west of the map, and read this book, you will unlock Blunderbuss, Cutlass, Eye of Reach, Flintlock, Banjo, Concertina, Drum, Hurdy Gurdy, Compass, Fishing Rod, Pocket Watch, Spyglass, Bucket, Lantern, Belt, Boots, Dress, Eye Patch, Gloves, Hat, Hook, Jacket, Peg Leg, Trousers, Cannons, Capstan, Figurehead, Wheel, Hull, Sails, Lag. From the Sunshine Perd set, the only issue is some of these items might not be affordable to purchase at the start, but at least you will unlock them to be ready for purchase when the gold is available. But until then, I will show you things that you can get as a new player for absolutely free and some just for a tiny bit of gold that a new player can afford all in one session even your first cft session a special thanks to my patreon supporters fuzzy here sit back relax and enjoy first you always wake up at the tavern unless it's a fresh pirate then you'll wake up on your ship that's not a problem either way you are still at one of the outposts so with that head to the tavern and read an available journal at every outpost for the commendation my maiden voyage upon reading that you have already unlocked the glitter beard sails completely free and available in your ship customization chest now i want you to set sail and head off to any near skull fort on the map they usually look different from islands, as they have wooden structures, and each of the three main regions has three skull forts, like Rackin's Watchtower, Skull Keep, and Sharkfin Camp in the wilds, Hidden Spring Keep, Eel Hall Fort, and Sailor's Knot Stronghold in the Shores of Plenty, and Crow's Nest Fortress, Fort of the Damned, and Lost Gold Fort in the Ancient Isles. There is also one in the Devil's Roar, the volcanic region of the map, but that's always far and no need to go there for this one. The only thing you have to make sure the one you are heading towards doesn't have a skull cloud on top of it, as that means it's inhabited by skeletons and will make it much harder for you to complete this one. Choose an inactive one, which means without a cloud. Once you get there, take the gunpowder barrels you see around and bury 10. All you need to do is put it on a pile of sand and aim at it with a shovel. Get the prompt and bury it. Now that you have done that 10 times, you have unlocked Air of the Trickster Commendation, which allows you to get Midnight Blades Eye Patch and Peg Leg and Party Boat Eye of Reach. While you sail between these islands, keep an eye on the horizon for three things. Number one, if you see any player ship nearby, launch a white flare. They come ready with a new spawn ship. This provides the commendation warning shot that unlocks the party boat peg leg. Of course, this one cannot be done on safer seas since it requires another player. Number two, a very well perceived title that many people equip, Legend of the Oars. Keep an eye on island shores to see rowboats. Once you find one, go on it and follow the prompts in case you don't know how to row it. Bring it towards your ship and dock the rowboat. It will unlock one commendation depending on the color. There are six different colors of these robots. Once all six colors have been docked, you unlock the title that you can equip from the vanity chest Legend of the Oars. Number three, sometimes you find random treasure washed ashore. Take these to your ship and have five items total. Then bury them like you did with the gunpowder barrels on any island that is not an outpost. And after that, a map bundle appears on your voyage table. Donate it to the quest board, found on every outpost or sea post. And don't worry, once dug out by another player, you will be rewarded as if you sold them. This unlocks the commendation, Benevolent Benefactor, unlocks party boat boots, party boat shirt, and party boat trousers for purchase. But to make it even easier, and since you're already sailing around, Keep an eye for the Ashen Guardians, a skeleton that roams islands and has red particles emitting out. Kill any Ashen Guardian you see. He provides a map to the chest that he's guarding and a key that drops with a bonus skull. This chest can provide tomes, like Tome of Fire, Tome of Power and many others. Upon selling them, they unlock relevant items. This is not a quick one, but as you progress in your sessions, you will unlock a lot of items under the tab Festival of Giving. So make sure to check it out. But why do you need this? Well, since you are trying to bury 5 items, you can sell anything extra once you return to the outpost. Of course, if you are new to X marks a spot, use references like red plants and rocks to find it. Don't forget that you can zoom into the map to make it easier. The button to press depends on your platform. On PC, it's F. However, check the settings to find out what the button is on your console as I apologize for never owning any consoles. Feel free to leave a comment below with which button it is on your platform and I will heart it for visibility. Now, before we head back to the outpost for even more cosmetics to unlock, there are two of the most secret cosmetics to unlock that are completely free that even many regular players do not know about them yet. All the way west of the map, there is an island called Sea Dog's Rest. Once you head there on the south of it, you will find a red seashell. Follow where it's pointing, towards the sea, and you will find a red glow under the water. Once interacting with a chest, you will unlock the fallen sea dog lantern. Second, head to crooked masts in the wild, and walk to the cave with a skeleton in a cage. Reach inside to unlock Lissetti's spyglass. Now you can head back to the outpost for more cosmetics, but this one requires a galleon. Start a galleon from the menu, and once you log in into the outpost, head to the merchant, and purchase the cheapest firework. You should already have some gold from the previous commendations and maiden voyage, put the crate on the galleon, and don't fire 
just yet. Now we gotta wait until sunset for a moment of reflection. It's a commendation that requires you to sit at the end of a dock while the sun sets, which unlocks the party boat eye patch for purchase, so you can do that at the outpost you are on. Now that the sun has set and it's night time, Take 5 of the fireworks and launch them while it's still night. The best way to do this is to put a firework in each of the cannons and then launch them all in a row as it should be done fast. This will be the nighttime spectacular accommodation that will unlock the party boat sails and hull for purchase. At this time, if you can invite a friend to unlock the seat of thieves commendation that requires you to sit with other pirates at the tavern, this will unlock the party boat dress for purchase for all of you. If you don't have any crewmates, you can always find someone to join on my discord nearing 30,000 members. But before you sign out, there's still more to unlock. Sit at the captain's chair of your galleon, then go to the menu and scuttle the ship. Your ship will start taking damage and sink. This will unlock the down with the ship commendation that will provide you with Midnight Blade Slim Trousers and Midnight Blades Beard for purchase. And while you're at it, if you're already in our discord, ask about joining a guild, as when you set sail on a ship that is a part of a guild, this will unlock the commendation Guild Initiate that will give you the Hands of Friendship trinket that you can use once you acquire your first captain ship for 250,000 gold. And now, if you have done all this right, you should have at least 50 doubloons. Head to Lorena at the entrance of any tavern at any outpost and buy yourself the Barrel Disguise emote. This is the most emote any pirate needs. And now with a bonus unlock that will get you a special item. By signing up to Sea of Thieves Creator Crew on this link or check the description below, then streaming under the Sea of Thieves category on Twitch for 5 minutes, you will unlock the Gilded Phoenix sales. You do not have to be a streamer, just do it for the free cosmetic. Speaking of streaming, I stream 4 times a week on Twitch. Sea of Thieves and other games would love to have you there, as I'm an official Sea of Thieves partner. I do live coaching, guides, gameplays, twitch drops and giveaways for some of the rarest cosmetics. Thank you for watching, happy sailing.